Good afternoon, everyone. Today, we're doing some citrus planting here at the Epic Homestead. I wanna show you, as I get through my fence here, just some of the ideas. I'm actually really excited about the citrus. One of my favorite fruits ever to eat. So much variety, and they grow really well here in San Diego, but I'm walking all the way over here. We actually have an existing citrus that looks absolutely terrible, I will say that. Now, here's what's going on with this one. You've got two citrus. I think this might be the rootstock of whatever was over here, right? So it may have had like a, a water shoot come up and become its own tree. It kind of looks like an Eureka lemon. Not 100% sure, but it's in very bad shape. And then over here we have this grapefruit, which, I mean, it's fruiting, but the fruit looks bad, except for that one. That one actually looks pretty juicy and, and tasty if you ask me, but the leaves are all beat up and it's oversized and it's not in an optimal location. So this might come out, I'm not 100% sure, but what we put in over here, the very first tree at the Epic Homestead, this is a Washington Naval Orange. So this one went in and I've got my friend Jacques coming over. He's gonna help me plant one, two, three, four, five more citrus today. Maybe even more if we see. So come along with me. Epic Homestead Citrus Alley is going down today. Here's just a note on why I'm doing citrus on this hedge right here. And the reason why is because number one, I'll have more room. That little white picket fence will go over that hedge as I actually own that hedge and it'll be this style of fence right here. Secondly, this is an evergreen plant, right? And so what this will do is all throughout the year, it will block off a little bit of this view of the street and the neighbors and create sort of like a secret garden type of look. So we've got enough space for every about three, four feet. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and maybe six right there. And if this ends up coming out, I can do one and two. So I can technically get seven or eight on this hedge right here. All right, my friend Jocks is here to help. And you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, plus two more that are hanging out over there. But I'll just run you through the varieties here on the Homestead channel. We've got the Nagami Kumquat. We have, what's this one? This is a Bear's Lime. We've got a Valencia orange, this is my, my juicing orange. Cara Cara Naval, very classic one, very popular one. This one, Golden Nugget. I've heard it's very, very tasty, very good. So I'm excited about that. I've got a Moro Blood Orange here. And then over there, I've got the Awari Mandarin and one more uh, orange. So these are all coming out. I'll show you, you can see over there, we've got some markers placed out. So you can see, there's the Washington Naval we put in. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Technically, I'm probably not going to go that close, but Jacques, who is over there, he's helping me out today. He measured out this distance here. So what we need to do is we need to figure out, okay, which ones do we put where? There's a Washington Naval there. Do I go oranges, lemons, limes, or do I mix and match? I think I'm going to try to go with a more of a mix and match play, and let's just get to it. Alrighty, they're all laid out. Now, the final orientation is probably not going to be this though, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with technically room for two more. And so what I'm probably gonna do is just put the eight right here, and we'll probably end up putting one more right there. I just haven't selected that variety yet. Uh, and this tree might come out. So now it's time to play around with the spacing. First tree is in for the day. Nagami kumquat in, just watering it in. Next, I think I'm gonna do the pink lemonade here. It's a variegated leaf. Really beautiful plant. Sometimes people struggle with this one. We'll see if I also struggle. I hope not. It's in a good sunny location. Typically a variegated plant wants a little bit more sun because it again doesn't have the ability to photosynthesize in the variegated areas. This is a smaller pot, so we're doing a smaller hole. So check out this pink lemonade. You can see it's not too root bound. The bottom's actually okay, but you still want to kind of score the edges. You don't want to necessarily cut these roots up, but you do want to score the edges a little bit and break it up. Otherwise, they're going to keep spiraling. So there'll be a full video on the Epic Gardening main channel about this with Cameron from The Busy Gardener. Uh, but again, it's just a quick little tip for you. It can be a little rough. It's not a big deal. These are some tough citrus roots. We're just getting them out there. Okay, so we're digging this up. Look at this. we got a worm right there in this semi-clay soil. And then we have some fungal action going on here too. So I'm actually really positive about this soil. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> I think it looks great. Yeah. Yeah. We got soil yeah, tests coming in pretty soon. Yeah. The chips did the work. Oops. I just shaded them out, but the chips did the work. It's okay. Time to get more digging going. All right. It's about 4 PM now. Look at that. What is that? Is that a row of citrus in the garden? What we have going on. So we have the Washington Naval orange right here. Then we move over to the Nagami kumquat. Over here, this is the pink lemonade lemon, so the variegated lemon. 
right here, I believe, what do we do? The Moro Blood Orange? No, we did the standard car, car enable. So the car, car right there. So we've so far, think about it, we've gone orange, kumquat, lemon, orange. Over here, we moved into the Moro Blood Orange. So it's still an orange, but it's gonna give a little bit of a different look. Then we moved into the Owari Satsuma Mandarin. So Mandarin, semi-orange, you know, still gonna be a little different. We went with a Bear's Lime, very standard lime. Valencia Orange, that's gonna be my juicer. And then over here, we did the Gold Nugget. Now what's really cool, let's see if I can find it. We found a lot of good soil life going down. There was a root somewhere in here. There was a lot of fungal action going on. We saw a lot of earthworms down there. I'm actually pretty pleased with the, the life. I thought it would be too heavy in clay, but we got this really, really good amount of mulch. I'm standing on it right now. You guys remember from one of the vlogs, we had basically eight hardwood trees just chipped directly into the yard. And that's been sitting here, going through some rains, going through the winter, and actually has not really super improved the soil, but kept it nice and moist and pliable and fostered a little bit of soil life. So I'm really pleased about that. So what's gonna happen here eventually is it'll be super tall, not super tall, maybe like eight feet, whoop, right across. And then honestly, we just tasted this uh, grapefruit here and it actually tastes pretty good, but just think about it. Sometimes you gotta pay a heavy price. This tree is gnarled, it's actually two varieties, and all these trees are the same height and age. I'm probably, guys, gonna take this tree out, and we'll put one right there, one right there, and one right there, so I can top it off with three more varieties of citrus. I have one more thing to do today with the citrus, and that is to whitewash the trunks. I wanna protect them from sunburn, especially as we move into spring, summer. So I'm gonna do that really quickly with an organic whitewash spray. The idea here is pretty simple. I've got this product from Charles over at Ivy Organic. It's called Whitewash. It's a completely organic product. And of course, summer sunburn, winter sun scald. The thing with citrus is, let me get my little brush here, is these are not used to being exposed to full sun because typically you'd have a nice canopy around this plant, right? And it'd be probably growing amongst other plants and shaded out. And so the southern exposure, it's coming in just like that. We're going to want to protect that at least at the beginning stages of its life. So a little dip, dippy dip. We'll come in and we just paint it up, block it off, and protect the plant. You don't have to go too far up, probably go into about the graft point, and that's about it. So this has got, I mean, I can even smell it. I've got like cinnamon in here and some other stuff that also protects a little bit against pest and disease, some fungal issues, things like that. So I'm going to plant up the rest of these, paint up the rest of these, and you'll see what's going on. is setting on another day here at the epic orchard i feel like it counts as an orchard now because take a look take a look Ooh, look at that man i'm so excited about this they're all whitewashed up we planted them pretty high actually on the main epic gardening channel we will have a full 101 a to z kind of a long meaty video on how to plant citrus all the things that you need to consider but for now thanks for joining me on today's vlog i want to leave you with a little crispy sexy outro of this orchard. Mm -hmm.